Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Mandy. Thank you so, so much for being here. If you are new, welcome. I love it. Thank you. Um, today, we are going to do a year-end recap, kind of. So, it is my 2019 favorites for my looks. Um, I think these are like really informative videos because then you kind of get an idea of what everybody's using and what works for them. And you know it's like an honest, honest, honest review. So I love watching these videos from the bigger YouTubers because it's just, I, I don't know, I just really like watching these. Um, so without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get started with mine. I can't believe it's gonna be 2020. Crazy, that's so nuts you guys. Like. 2020 what okay so we're gonna start off and i'm gonna try to like go through with how i apply it when i apply it you know so we have the pure lease matcha green tea antioxidant primer i you can tell i am loving this stuff um i think this came in an ipsy pretty sure this came in ipsy I absolutely love it. It works great. And I pair it up with another favorite, which is the Tatcha Silk Canvas. Now, I know this is pricey, um, but you guys, it goes a long way. This is $20, I think, for this one. And this thing lasts forever. So, I went through one this year, and this is the second one. So, $20 a year, you can't really go wrong with that. So, those are my priming before I put anything on. And then, you guys, I found this at the end, or the beginning of the year when this came out, and nobody was talking about it, so I was like, oh, okay, I'll pick it up. And I felt like I found something. So this is the Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. I love this foundation. I reach for this foundation almost every single day. Um, if you guys have watched my empties, you've seen empty bottles of this. So I go through this quite often. Um, it's not expensive. It's like $10 or something for this. And it just looks so perfect on the skin. And it is a perfect match. Mine is 420. And what's, does it say a shade? I don't know. I don't see oh true beige all right so mine's 420 true beige at true beige okay i can't talk now i can never talk but i love 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 this foundation it is kind of full coverage but it just looks really natural on you it does have sunscreen in it so that's awesome um 25 spf so that's nice to have that extra protection and um this one actually came with a little sample. That's what that red thing is, which I didn't use that. But anyway, favorite of all, like hands down all time. I love this. Love it. All right. So moving on to the next product, which would be brows. And this is the It Cosmetics Brow Power um, Eyebrow eye, eye Pencil. Now this is just the mini one. Um, it does have a spoolie on one side and then it obviously the pencil on the other side. It is, I don't know if you can see it. It is a universal taupe shade, but if you press harder then it gets darker. Um, I love this stuff. It, it just works so good for my brows. It matches me. Um, I've been using this probably for a couple years now so, and I've went back and forth between the um, Anastasia brow one. And this to me just, I don't know. I just keep going back to this one. So, this is what made it into my favorites video. This is what's on my eyes. Most of the time, like, I would say 95% of the time. So, there is that. And then I have a little list down here on what's, what order to say it in so that if you see me looking down that's why I'm looking down all right so eyeshadow primer this is something that I recently found at um, Marshall's 
and it is the Marc Jacobs Undercover Eye Primer. And this stuff, I've, I've really liked it. I mean, generally I used to use just the concealer for the um, lids, but I don't know. I've really been enjoying this and it was not expensive at all because I got it from Marshalls. So moving on to blush. I know I'm skipping something, but anyway. Oh, I am. Concealer. Concealer, you guys. Amazing concealer. I can't believe this is... It's just amazing. So it is the CoverGirl uh, True Blend Concealer Undercover. And mine is in the shade L100 Fair Porcelain. You guys, this... I gave up my shape tape for this. There is the doe foot. You get plenty on there. I absolutely, hands down, every day have used this since it came out. Like, seriously, I've not used another concealer since then. So, if you have not tried this, I would definitely, definitely give this a go. Because this is an amazing concealer. Um, love it. So, okay. Now, moving on to the blushes. Now, this, these are a little bit... I did, did pick two of them because they are the two that I use mostly, pretty much always. Um, they are high-end a little bit. They're costly. I think they're like $35, and they're a little dirty, so excuse that. They are the Cover FX um, Monochromatic Blush Duo Matte and Shimmer. So this one is the Mohev, Mohev Mauve. I think that's how you pronounce it. And that is what that looks like. And these shades are so pretty. Like, this, it's not the one that I'm wearing today. I'll show you that in just one second. But there's those. And then you mix them, you know, I always mix it together. So, very, very beautiful shade there. And then this one is Pink Dahlia. And this is the shade I am wearing today. Now, they look pretty similar to each other. But one is a little bit darker. As you can see, this one's a little bit darker. But um, I, I I love these, you guys. They're amazing. And I have not turned back since I've done these. Like, seriously, I have not went to another blush. I don't know if you can see those. But there's that. So, for blushes, I love these. And there's actually, I think, one more that I want to get that's close to, like, these pinks. Um, and they last forever. Like, I've had these, I've been using these forever, feels like. Um, but I love them. So, that's in the video. Alright, so we're going to move on to bronzer. And I'm very particular on my bronzer. I actually hit pan in a Marc Jacobs one that I um, got at Marshall's. But I have to say that this one is probably more loved since I got it um, in Ipsy, I think, or BoxyCharm. I'm not sure which one it came in. But it is the Park Ave Princess uh, Tarte Palette, Sculpting Palette. And it gets much love. I love this palette. This one I use, you know, kind of like contour. And then that one I just kind of go over top of it. And these two shades are amazing. I absolutely love them. Um, they brighten up. They're nice under the eyes. It smells good. I am in love with this palette. Ever since it came, I have not used another bronzer or another um, powder underneath the eyes as far as like a brightener. Oh, and that's one thing I did forget. My setting powder, which is um, Cover FX. So, I don't think I have one around now. But that that's my setting powder, ride or die. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so, but I don't have it to show it to you. I don't know where it's at. I forgot to bring it over here. All right, so, love that palette. It is so nice. If you do not have it, I would recommend getting it if you're looking for a very nice bronzer. Love it. All right, so, moving on to highlighter. This has been, like, I love this highlighter. And this came in one of the boxes, too. I think it was... I think this one was Ipsy. I think. I'm trying to wipe it off because it's so dirty. Um, and this is the Artist Couture 
pink, purple dream um, highlighter. This, it's amazing. I love it. Now, it is a loose highlighter and it is messy, but, and I use a fan brush with it. It is so pretty. Look at the blush is still stuck on my fingers. Um, I, I love it. It's, it's just, I use it every day over top of, um, like if I use like an Ofra blush or something or Ofra highlighter, I put, I always put this over top of it. So that's why I picked this one as a favorite. I do use other highlighters, but nine times out of 10, this goes on top of whatever highlighter that I use. Um, just a really nice, it, it just soaks in. I love it. It, it does not like sink, um, accentuate any of your pores or anything and it just it's perfect shade for me so I absolutely love this and I'm super happy that I got that all right and then my inner corner highlight which I don't I've been using the same thing forever and ever and I, I just will continue because it's so easy and it's actually brightening and I love it and it is the Stila Little White Lies um Yellow Tails and this stuff is awesome. I love it. It's amazing. It works so good for brightening the eyes. And it is kind of like a duochrome, but it's very pretty. And it's something that I've been using every single day. Every day. There is a purple one, too, that I use. But this one is the one that I go back to constantly. Constantly. It's what's in my corner today. All right. So... Moving, I'm going to do the eyeshadow palettes, and I do have two of those as well. That's so hard to break down on what's your favorite. But I'm going to do those last. So we're going to move on to mascara. And I got this from a YouTuber. I don't remember which one it was. Gosh, I can't remember. But they absolutely love this. And I was like, I got to try it. So it's the Lash Princess from Essence, and it is the False Lash Effect Mascara. I am in love with it. Like, it, it's so inexpensive. It has a really nice wand to it. It is a little bit of a wet formula, um, but it works so good. Like, so good. I love it. Um, I will never pay expensive prices for mascara again because this is like four dollars or something and you can get it at cvs so it's pretty awesome all right love love that all right moving on to lip liners now i did pick three of them but that's because they're so similar and they are the same brand so they are from kylie cosmetics and they are in the shades ulta beauty Kylie and Kristen and as you can see they are all nude shades and they definitely get some love because you can see how short they are now um they're so creamy so nice love them so much um I'm running out of room here to put some new swatches on here I mean it's just you see how easy that went on it's just they're awesome and they all do have slightly different shades to them but I do love my nudes for sure. And I use these every single day, every day. It's one or one of one or the other. And like I said, they're, oh, <laughs> I can't do this. So they are very, very similar in shade. Um, but I, I love these. I wish you could just get when not have to buy the lip kits and just get the liner. I don't know if you can on her website, but I know from Ulta, you can, you have to buy the lip kit to get these. I do kind of like the lipsticks, but they are a little drying. Um, they do go, obviously go well with the lip liners, but it is slightly drying for me. So I try not, I don't wear them as much because of that. Now I'll, I'll put like a, um, like a balm or something underneath of it and it, it'll be okay, but tend not to use it that much all right so lipsticks and this is what I've been reaching for like like tons and it's another product that I got at Marshall's and it is the melted matte queen bee Too faced liquid lipstick um it's what I'm wearing today it it's such a pretty nude 
and I love having the minis so that I can take them to work with me and they fit in my pocket so nicely. And you can see they go, it goes with any one of those um, lip liners and it, it does not dry your lips out. It does not, it's just so nice, like amazing. And you get quite a bit of product in here because I've been using this for a while now and there is still product in here. Um, now, I have used other lipsticks, but this is the one that I consistently reach for. And then if I want to put a gloss on top of it, I reach for the Buxom uh, Hot Toddy. I absolutely love this one. It is a plumping. Uh, I think all theirs are plumping. And it's, it's really nice um, when I want to wear a gloss. I try to stay away from glosses on videos because I don't want lipstick on my teeth. But... I love it. It's nice. It's, it is something you can wear alone or you can wear obviously with over top of a lipstick. Um, I do tend to wear this a lot alone at work. So between the, the Too Faced and this, favorites, favorites, favorites. All right. Sorry, this is such a long video, but I'm trying to get through it as quick as I can. Um, single eyeshadow. So there is one eyeshadow that I have been reaching for when I say I do like a brown look or something and I just want a nice color in on the lids um I reach for this and it is the color pop super shock shadow in set to stun I love this thing it is so it's so easy to make a look with it um it's quick I love it there it is there and it's just gorgeous I'm sure you've seen that on my lids before and like I said, it's just so easy to use. So I wanted to, I wanted to throw that in there on this video. And then, oh, we are down to setting spray, ride or die, urban decay. This is in the summer solstice, but that's because this was on sale. So I do like both of them. I'm sure there's some back here. I have so many setting sprays. It's ridiculous. But this is the one that I reach for. This one's almost gone, so I'll be opening a new one soon. Um, if you've watched my empties videos, these are always in it. Ride or die, they are expensive. But like I said, this one was on sale, so I snagged up, I think, three bottles of this. I'm pretty sure it's like three, so that I don't run out anytime soon. All right, so eyeshadow palettes. It was so stinking hard to cut this down just to two of them. Uh, I could have picked so many, like Tati Beauty, that just came out not too long ago. I absolutely love it. I have the glitter on my eyes today. Um, there's just so many. The Juvia's Places that I've discovered, I love them. But the ones that I have reached for, I would say like the most, consistently and you can see that I have is one Riviera uh, I bought this for a birthday present for myself full price now it's at Marshall's and TJ Maxx I'm getting really upset about that but yes I bought this full price I love it it was my birthday gift and you can tell it definitely has some love uh, this is what I'm wearing on my lids today they're gorgeous gorgeous shades you guys Amazing palette. I love Anastasia's formula. Um, they definitely have gotten a lot better since the um, Subculture palette, which I do have. But these are, this palette is awesome. And the colors are so pigmented, so easy to work with, blend like a dream. So that's why I picked this one. And then my second palette that I picked that I go to consistently since it's come out is the Sweet Talk Pressed Powder from Color Cop, Color Pop, and this is what it looks like, and you can definitely see this has gotten some love. Um, this is a Super Shock Shadow right there, and I absolutely love it. It is gorgeous. It is running out. Um, there is the shadow. I don't want to take too much of it. Um, all right, so there's that. It's not, I don't know if it's really showing up too much right there. But love this palette. Beautiful neutral palette. There is like glitters in here and mattes and shimmers. 
and you guys it's just an amazing palette and it does not cost much um so that and i i use it like a lot especially for you know neutral looks which i've been doing pretty much every time now because it's just easy um if I do want to reach for color, generally I'll go for the uh, pink in here. So in the blue, I love I love pairing that together. So these two made my ride or die favorites of 2019. Love them, love them, and love them. I'm almost hit pan on this one, and I will continue to use these probably for you know years to come i love them so you guys that is my 2019 favorites of the whole entire year and even from maybe before because like the setting spray i've been using that for years the brow uh, pencil i've been using that for years so there are a few things in there that i did not discover this year but I'm still using. So obviously that that's a testament to that product. Um, thank you guys so much for coming. I hope this was a little helpful for you. And if you are looking to test out any of these products, at least you know that they are good in my eyes anyway. Um, so that's why I like doing these videos that way. It's a little bit informative. So anyway, Thank you so much for being here. I want to wish you a happy, happy new year. It is 2020 in a couple days. Hopefully I get this up before 2020. Um, but crazy. It's going to be an exciting new year. So happy new year. Have a happy and healthy new year. And that's it. So leave me a comment down below if you use any of the same products and if any of them are ride or die. Now, I know most people are going to say the Urban Decay they've used and they like. So, you don't have to really say that. But if you use any of the other ones and you really like them, I would love to know um, if, they, if they work for you as much as they do for me. So, guys, thank you again so much for being here. Have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.